elections are approaching bjp is trying to split every section of the society they are not digesting the development and growth of uh, bangalore and the state bjp has failed to help us in all fronts so we know about what they are going to andhra pradesh what they are going to maharashtra what they are going to other part of the country so karnataka has been treated as a step mandatory tre- treatment at any point of time i can't release water to tamil nadu we have kept water only for the drinking purpose oh. even tamil nadu knows about it they are also not demanding we are providing water water is there but since there was a dry of bore wells among 14000 bore wells available in city 50% have been dried up so we are we have to match them we have to redrill them what we promised we have delivered we are given congress guarantee modi ji has said that it is his uh, modi guarantee modi is copying dk shiv kumar not shiv kumar it is a congress party what happened at that rameshwaram cafe the blast that took place what went wrong out there we should be very cautious they are trying to disturb uh, the city growth who is trying to disturb this well? vibe some of the anti social elements a big sacrifice he has done for this country what is the sacrifice that he could have also become the prime minister after manmohan singh at the time of manmohan singh so did you all ask him to be prime minister oh sure we all asked he said no only gandhi family can keep the congress party united and when the congress party is united the country is united congress party has uh, split more than a dozen times in this country the country didn't split it is not possible we will not allow it in this election everybody said you did the hard work but because mr sidramaiya was senior in the number of years he became chief minister see in politics uh, everything happens hmm. nothing is permanent for anyone you open any site and if you google uh, dk shivkumar so it says that one of the richest politicians of india yeah, i am not the richest politician of this country there are very 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 big politician with huge amount they just don't play their documents i am one of the normal citizen so yaar not... yaar sab believe mat leke lai do normal citizen in the <laughs> in the evening do you just chill in front of the tv my what is god, it my god i think i am killing myself <laughs> namaste jai hind you're watching or listening to another edition of the ani podcast with smita prakash Before I introduce my guest today a couple of suggestions which I want to discuss with you one of the suggestions which you make in the comment section is that I should conduct the interview only in english or purely in hindi however my task or my interest is to get the best out of the guest so i might speak in english or in hindi or a mix of the two in fact today my guest is the deputy chief minister of the state of karnataka so i might even speak in kannada DK Shivakumar the deputy chief minister of Karnataka is seen as the Congress party's troubleshooter and the next Ahmed Patel some even call him the Chanakya of the Congress party so let's get cracking thank you sir for coming to the ANI podcast uh, i look forward to the conversation uh, so uh, i'd like to begin by asking uh, you know uh, today there's been a lot of uh, uh crowds which have been coming because of that incident which happened of the hanuman chalisa uh you know uh, the boy who played hanuman chalisa and then subsequently the bjp saying that uh, the congress party is anti minority uh, many leaders from the bjp saying are saying that uh, the government of uh, karnataka is unable to control uh this kind of uh, things which are happening on the hindu community what do you have to say to that See, we have a very strong, effective government, which is a secular-bound uh, state. Bangalore is a very peaceful city, and the state is also a very peaceful state. We have a state anthem, which clearly tells that we have to take everyone together. Uh, elections are approaching. BJP is trying to split. every section of the society they are not digesting the development and growth of uh, bangalore and the state so they have been thrown out in the assembly they wanted to have their stake in the parliament so they are trying to uh, see that land order problem will be created just they are trying to make a lot of statements where no issues are there they are trying to create an issue mm-hmm. in the front of the media according to me 
nothing is there this state is very strong no question of uh, asking anyone's uh, uh, one small small issue and they say they are creating only uh, looking at the elections in uh, progress so since you talk about elections let me begin with the prime minister modi in uh, shivamogga uh, he was in a rally he said uh, uh, and i quote karnataka's congress has many cm aspirants who keep blaming modi and the central government for their inefficiency but there is one shadow chief minister who wants to replace the current chief minister he is obviously talking about you so <laughs> what do you have to say i am very happy that he is trying to uh, he had a government first he should think that why did not the government come back hmm. when he had a double engine government the government was strong operation lotus went on centrally strong he came to the streets of uh, karnataka the entire party took up why there is a one the 66 members came and 136 we won it shows that uh, they had lost the image and confidence of the people now after they lost the government i uh, they, they instead of uh, they should know that bangalore is a very important uh, place and the state is also very important which gives the second highest uh, tax to the country and it is a knowledge capital uh, the weather the culture is very high a lot of human resources been there in uh, karnataka instead of helping karnataka he is just trying to blame karnataka he yeah, politics at the elections will be over now you should think that the country is one and you should help the state instead of helping the state he is just trying to blame the political acum how can there be a shadow chief minister or some ex chief minister future chief minister that should not be the level of the prime minister prime minister level should be very large hearted that is what i could look at but so it's not just um, mr modi everybody says that that uh, you are the real power uh, in karnataka uh, that mr sidramaiah is okay mass leader and all but the real chanakya of the congress and the real and the next ahmed patel of the congress is uh, dk shiv kumar i don't think so see i am just a worker with a big experience i don't tell no i have been in the assembly for eight terms from a very young age i have seen hard Uh, very difficult times of the congress party i was of course lot of difficult uh, mm. uh, problems uh, whenever some responsibility has been given at the time of my uh, that maybe vilas rao deshmukh or ahmed patel elections uh, various states i mean uh, touring the country you went uh, even to himachal uh, yes yes recently also i went to himachal the timely decision i took up in himachal huh. expelling the six uh, who voted against us huh. and now i think the supreme court also huh. appealed that hmm. and uh, uh, elections have been conducted yeah. so discipline has to be restored in the party huh. so i think uh, some decisions with uh, uh, timely decisions will be i am not the uh, chanukya or whatever they tell i know i am okay i agree that i have a long experience in uh, political uh, thinking hmm. but then they do say that uh, there was nobody to manage these things because whenever there is whether it is operation lotus or when there coalition government when people are shifting from one to the other there like the crisis which happened in himachal the loss was felt that ahmed patel used to manage it but once he went away there was nobody else and you are seen as uh, sonia gandhi's right hand man is that true no 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 it is not true see mr bagel and mr uda and myself we three also had gone there we hmm. were there Hmm. we took up dishes collectively hmm. then we acted upon i was been asked to go from the south they were from from the north and karnataka and i can understand uh, the language of them language means the political readings also could be known hmm. though they knew well in himachal bagel was in the election he took up the responsibility and it is ajit said said for uda so they wanted some neutral along with them they sent and we could take some call so are you the high command of south india no <laughs> no how can i be the high command of south india it is not i am a party president though a party president of the state hmm. and being a deputy cm i can't be an high command my in my state itself uh, acc president is there acc president is the high command and uh, sonia gandhi rahul but gandhi but when uh, 
is there to guide the party when government had to be formed uh, in telangana dk shiv kumar is rushed when uh, now telangana and kerala leaders are meeting you for tickets for the lok sabha election also malla reddy no they they Reed. meet definitely they meet to see because i have been uh, i have gone to when clp to conduct the clp and make a leadership hmm. all the reports definitely hmm. i just date when uh, they did when even the appointing of the president or the chief minister hmm. i have been uh, because i know all sections of the people there there are lot of uh, small small groups still i could uh, i have been asked to make them patch up all of them worked unitedly and there was a successful story in telangana also so in that i think uh, whatever the party is my neighboring state i had to do that job it said that you scripted a very you were the one who scripted this very decisive victory for the congress party uh, in karnataka how confident are you about the lok sabha elections and how many seats do you give the congress party see we work uh, collectively uh, last 3 uh, years i had an opportunity to be the president now it is the fourth year so all of them cooperated i believe in uh, collective leadership which we showed whatever we had but still we thought that party has to come to power now as far as parliament is concerned still we are hoping we wanted a lot of our ministers to contest but all of them uh, they wanted to stay in state politics now still i am hoping that we'll get uh, nearly 20 seats are they do they want to stay in state politics or is it that they don't want to contest because you can't fight the modi wave it is not like that uh, see as far as karnataka is concerned mm. Uh, any waves will not work out hmm. you see what bjp is crumbling you know how many mps almost 10 mps they could not give the ticket there was lot of anti income mercy wave on the mps so they have changed the mps shifted the mps shifted the ministers lot of things so i think uh, uh, compared to other part of the country karnataka the bjp is in a very very bad shape you see the statement of mr kumar swami yesterday Hmm. so he has not been taken well he has come out of openly all these things are there their alliance is not working well people will not accept that uh, alliance you know you have raised an alarm on the paucity of funds for major projects uh, in karnataka but uh, while you say that the center is uh, giving you a stepmotherly treatment or giving karnataka stepmotherly <coughs> treatment uh, uh, the same cannot be said about telangana where the chief minister is saying that he is not having any problem uh, with the center why is it this is happening see telangana chief minister just started his uh, days hmm. innings in karnataka there was a double engine government the chief minister mr bomai when he was in power himself has admitted on record in the assembly that we will have to fight for our share see i am just not talking on big things hmm. see there is a narega program hmm. which at every drought time they have to permit us 150 days now they are giving only 100 days the 50 days if central government they have to give us that is the law of this country and uh, it is a mandatory so they are not uh, able to see we had drought more than 200 taluks not even a single rupee has been given funds on the drought which is the, the bound my chief minister my ministers all of them met the central government met the prime minister home minister requested nothing has been supported we are we are the second largest state after maharashtra giving lot of facilities in the last budget mr nirmala sitaram herself has admitted to give lot of permissions a lot of financial support uh, to this uh, badra reservoir about 5300 crores in the budget which has been voted till today i am telling you not even a single rupee has been released to karnataka like that there are so many cases we know about what they are going to andhra pradesh what they are going to maharashtra what they are going to other part of the country so karnataka has been treated as a step one treatment so we are fighting for our rights for our tax so only 13% of whatever we are being given to the center we are receiving that is why we are telling that see earlier when monmon singh was there lot of financial strength was being given to bangalore because he felt that uh, the world is looking at uh, india through bangalore hmm. the world is looking at because when you go to the different part of the world they when they still india they first they look at bangalore first the world prime ministers 
come to uh, Bangalore than coming to Delhi. That is what Bangalore made. It is the startup capital, the, the Silicon Valley, the health, culture, the weather. Lot of people all over the country and the world come to the India because the big human resources is there. The quality of education is very high. The health system is very high. That is why it is a city which has to be looked by the center. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you spoke about uh, drought and water uh, issues. Um, I I want to come to the issue of uh, the water scarcity. I have family living in Bangalore, and I know that Bangalore is having a serious water crisis. But you know, it's like uh, it's very distressing because uh, you know when a cabinet minister. Uh, needs a water tanker for his water needs. What's going to happen to the people of Bengaluru? Yeah, I'm telling you, there is not much, not so severe problem still, but it may arise. About more than 7,000 borewells have been tried, which was being common. But as far as Kaveri water is common, concerned, it is already on the level. We are providing water, water is there. But since there was a dry of borewells, among 14,000 borewells available in the city, 50% have been dried up. So we are we have to match them. We have to re-drill them, get some source. That is what we are doing. So there was some uh, concern on the pricing of this borewell uh, tankers and all. Uh, we made uh, some regulation that we fixed up a price and it is going on well. But uh, you know, from BJP, they are trying to politicalize the issue and that a uh, uh, lot of water problem. Of course, when water dries, borewell dries, there will be a problem. So, we, government is committed. We have sufficient funds. We have allocated. We are bringing tanks. We are supplying to them. Wherever there will be no building activities, construction activities stopped, no factory has been stopped. Everything is on record. But still, uh, BJP is trying to do politics. Apart from that, nothing else. You are saying that there is sufficient funds to tackle the water problem. But Jairam Ramesh says that... Because of the water crisis, a drought situation is occurring in many parts of the state. 223 out of the state's 236 talukas facing drought conditions. So you tell me now, if so many talukas have drought conditions, then you have the resources and is there no scarcity? No, no. See, as far as uh, drought in the state, definitely that is why I am telling you. Hmm. When drought is there, centre has to give us jobs, more jobs and all. As far as drinking water is concerned... We have made arrangements in the entire state. There will be no problem for drinking water in the state. Centre has to assist us on the uh, whatever the wages has to be given, whatever the drought uh, money has to be given, which has been a, par a duty of the central government. Mm. Uh, whatever uh, Jairam, there is a record which we have submitted to the so central government. This is the, the nature, the law of the nature. You are saying uh, water is there for drinking purposes. What about irrigation farmers? And tell me, is are you going to be releasing water from the Kaveri for Tamil Nadu? No, no. no the, at any point of time, I can't release water to Tamil Nadu. We have kept water only for the drinking purpose. Huh. Even Tamil Nadu knows about it. They are also not demanding. They have never asked. At no point, we can't release. Only we are using the water for drinking. We have helped our farmers at all, all, all point of time. They are happy. They had their crops sufficiently. Now there is no question of releasing to anyone except drinking water. So you've uh, you've said that major irrigation projects have got uh, delayed uh, in Karnataka, especially in the upper Bhadra region. What is the delay in these projects? Can you just tell? See, there is Kalsa Banduri project, which BJP government celebrated that we have cleared all things. But still today, uh, on the environment clearance, they have not cleared it. But I have called for a tender. Hmm. I have ordered a tender. We are just waiting. Hmm. BJP government never took up it in the entire North Karnataka. Co connected to Badra, they are supposed to release funds for it. They committed in the central budget, but they have not released. Mekeda too, till today I am telling you, no efforts have been ta taken. After I did my walk for water, I walked the about Padayatra. Uh, Padayatra. Yes. After I walked, no efforts. But I am confident, if you, I think court will help us out, uh, that they know the situation that definitely they will help us out, that we will do this. That is why with passion I have taken up this uh, uh, irrigation department to see that make that too will be done. I think uh, court will give us a favorable order because they know that we are not harming Tamil Nadu. We will go by whatever the 
judgment which is there to protect their share of water, I am sure uh, we will deliver. But Sir, BJP has failed to help us in all fronts. So, when you uh, went in for elections, you made a number of promises to the people. And that is one of the reasons why uh, the Congress party got elected with a good margin. Have you promised too much in the sense that you you will be unable to deliver because uh, I, I just asked for a status update, say some of the guarantees which were made, free electricity up to 200 units, 2000 rupees per month assistance to women ahead of uh, as, or head of family, free ration, monetary support to youth, free bus travel. What is the status on all these promises and do you have the funds to meet these promises? See, I am very happy to answer this question to you. Hmm. What we promised, we have delivered. This is a state where Baswarna, uh, social reformer, land. What we promised, Priyanka Gandhi came to Bangalore. Before promising that Gruha Lakshmi of 2000 rupees, she asked me and the chief minister to sign a check, a guarantee check. We both signed. We gave the check to every house. We convinced the people that we will deliver. Today I am sitting before you, before I go for the next polling of this parliament. We have promised all the five guarantees which were there, which, is, which will cost us 52 to 56,000 crores. We have already marked this in our budget. Mm. We, no other state could have done this. This is why we did this, because the price rise was killing everyone. No common man could leave. The central government he said that they are going to double the income give 15 lakh rupees to every account, Jandan account was being opened, a double income of the farmers would be done. So nothing has been done. Only the false were promises. Nothing has not been done. You nothing mean. has not been done. Mm -hmm. We decided whatever we speak, whatever we give a guarantee, we will have to deliver with bold, hard, strong commitment to because we want to change the lives of the people. Mm -hmm. It is, it is, see, that is almost 5,000 rupees to every family. For a gas, 400 rupees, 440 was the gas. It has gone to 1,000 plus. At least we are trying to help them. And the oil prices, the prices of all essential commodities has gone very high. So we thought that we should help a lady which goes to her account because woman is a big section which she takes care of the family at difficult times. She wants for the travel, wherever she wants. Entire state, it is free. Power, till 200 years. You can save 1,000 rupees, 1,500 rupees. Youths who doesn't have job for less two years, they can work out, have 3,000 rupees. Uh, let them look at their job. So we have given 10 kilos of rice. Whatever we have promised, we have delivered. I am very confident. I have made a survey. 76% of the people are very happy that whatever we have spoken, whatever we have signed, we have delivered. And we have kept financial strength in the budget and it will go on. Then why is it that one of your MLCs, uh, H.C. Balakrishna, said that five guarantees will be cancelled if uh, you don't vote for Congress in the Lok Sabha no, election? He is my MLA in my district. Hmm. He is an MLA. See, that is the BJP doesn't MLA. want. Uh, hmm. BJP doesn't want. No, BJP, uh, Modi ji said that uh, if this guarantee has been then the entire government economy will go. Hmm. And all BJP leaders were telling that. Uh, they were against his guarantees. Now, after looking at the success story of that, uh, Modi has stated, we are given Congress guarantee. Modi ji has said that it is his uh, Modi guarantee. Now, he has started. He was opposed to the guarantees. Now, he has accepted. After we made a success story, they started in other parts of the country. Modi they, is copying D.K. Shiv Kumar. Not Shiv Kumar. It is the Congress party. See, you see what happened in Madhya Pradesh. Before we, we started, even Madhya Pradesh only said it is not impossible. Mm -hmm. Then immediately they started announcing and started giving some amount to the women, like what we did. Mm -hmm. They are copying. Uh, BJP is copying Congress party. When I'm talking about the Lok Sabha elections, uh, let me first talk about the Rajya Sabha election. And Lok Sabha, I know you ticket distribution, all these meetings are happening in all the parties right now. Let me talk about the Rajya Sabha election. Uh, there was a lot of rumour that Sonia Gandhi is going to stand from Bellari. What happened? Why did she not stand from uh, uh, Bellari? No, no, but not Bellari, Karnataka. Hmm. There was Karnataka. See, already uh, Mr. Rauji is there from uh, hmm. uh, South India. She decided that she should be in North India, I think so. 
it is the high command which has taken did it. you ask her whether she should stand from karnataka no that i can't dis- disclose that huh. definitely we allow our leader to be a part of our state so why do you say it like this or why does why does one say south india north india that the gandhi family one should be from south one should be no, from not like that. they both stood from see, uh, uttar pradesh at one point of time see traveling time three, three terms no, they were both is there that is there hmm. due to her hill health and all uh, we all said that she should not fight the Uh, parliament election hmm. uh, because uh, she should give justice she should go hmm. she should visit hmm. so all these things are there hmm. she has been very successful in bringing the congress government the congress party is in a very difficult position hmm. and she brought back congress party into the country and she made manmohan singh when all the entire uh, mps uh, irrespective of uh, upa they wanted her to become the prime minister uh, she has been called by the president of india Uh, kalam ji ke recalled her that the entire uh, upa wanted her to be the prime minister she sacrificed for a economist that is the greatest sacrifice in the history of a uh, world that a woman uh, being given an opportunity to become the prime minister denied and for the sake of the country she uh, nominated uh, manmohan singh that is the biggest sacrifice what gandhi family does to this country So is that what uh, is planned even if Congress wins the next election suppose Congress wins the next election which is 2024 is uh, Rahul Gandhi going to make a similar kind of sacrifice I don't want to comment on this first let us all join the party and the parliament members will take a call he is our leader who is fighting for the sake of the unity of this country and for keep the keeping that everyone should be uh, united and whatever the price rise issues He is fighting for the country. No one in the history of this country has walked as he has done. It uh, a big sacrifice he has done for this country. What is the sacrifice that he could also become the prime minister? He could have also become the prime minister after Manmohan Singh. At the time of Manmohan Singh, he never looked at power. He wanted party to be in power. So, did you all ask him to be prime minister? Oh, sure. We all asked. He said, "No, I want to take an economist. Let me run this show." He didn't look at power. So it was a sacrifice that uh, Of course he is he is fighting for the party mm. he is he has given us a lot of strength But on what basis did you all ask Rahul Gandhi to be a uh, prime minister at that stage He was the f- he was not even what one term See, there was an opportunity there was a pressure among all of us that he should take the lead but still he said let Manmo Singh run the country So just because uh, he's from the Gandhi family he should become See one thing you should know At that stage no, no, you should, you should, one thing you should know only Gandhi family can keep the Congress party united and when the Congress party is united the country is united This is the biggest strength of the history of the Congress party it has kept this country and the party united Congress party has uh, split more than a dozen times in this country the country didn't split it is not possible we will not allow it we look at our major uh, whatever we have got the constitution and we stand by it we are committed to it so if rahul gandhi doesn't want to become prime minister then what happens i will not uh, comment on this let this parliament election be over hmm. i will not uh, go out of your uh, <laughs> comment i'll be there i'll come and meet you again <laughs> all right let me come back to karnataka politics um but more importantly let me come to the safety and security aspect because you know um, what happened at that rameshwaram cafe uh, the blast that took place what went wrong out there no i and the see the it is a city growing city hmm. lot of issues maybe lot of conspiracy maybe i don't want to comment immediately we just we were just alerted on it hmm. investigation is going on we have wanted to to nia also i think lot of traces have been done i think uh, we we should be very cautious they are trying to disturb uh, the city growth who is trying to disturb us by some of this anti social elements okay um let me come to that a bit about the pakistan zindabad slogan which was raised uh, during uh, mr nasir hussain's rajya sabha win uh, what was the tearing hurry that priyank kharge had to immediately say no no that slogan was not raised even when you all said that investigation is going on the chief minister also said he immediately gave a clean chit and said no no i see according to us also we have got lot of information 
but still we wanted to have a clear uh, hmm. uh, investigation on that issue hmm. we also know that some of the media has tried to play some uh, role in it but let the investigation will take place we we that is why we could have uh, closed that matter the day but still we wanted to have a relook at it so my home minister was very clear that he should uh, have a detailed investigation and investigation went on so the investigation didn't prove the media wrong oh. the media was right no? no 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 so still investigation the media was still let the uh, report come out but the slogan was raised people were arrested i am not we arrested we made an inquiry we have arrested hmm. but still the final investigation has not come out but if the investigation is still not uh, the report has not come out investigation is still on how did mr kharge say this is he a super chief minister how does he turn around and See, give clean check he is a, a, a spokesman what he knows he has also gone on record on his commitment being a spokesman of the government he has commented so but, you stand by that uh, comment which he no, made no, definitely you see investigation is different and the opinion is different right though uh, he are given an opinion but still government in is investigating you should look at the larger interest and a pro uh, positive prospect of the issue so in both these cases uh, the bjp is saying that outsiders are being allowed to come inside uh, karnataka and cause trouble there's somebody who has come in from north india shobha says that uh, shobha ji says that somebody has come from north india raised pakistan slogan somebody came from tamil nadu did something else so uh, is it that uh, the law and order situation is in a <laughs> she is she is she is uh, i think uh, just now entering bangalore she wanted to be a part of bangalore and nothing has happened she is just trying to cook up at the political angle there is nothing let she be safe safe she will be safe nothing to worry let she sort out her personal political problems at as far as bangalore is concerned let she not spoil the bangalore image so when you say that she's just come to bangalore that's because she has moved her constituency that's why no people of chikmagalur sent her back go back go back shobha so she has come here i wish her all the best are you sure that she will not get elected in bangalore i don't want to comment on that i am hmm. confident that congress party will win right uh, there is a lot which is being said that congress party uh, talks about mohabbat ki dukan in this uh, uh, bharat jodo yatra in the earlier bharat jodo yatra you spent a lot of time uh, with mr rahul gandhi you were jogging with him uh, he in fact he had you and mr sidramaiya even mr sidramaiya jogged for a short distance with him uh, in this uh, part of the yatra i didn't go through karnataka but then the slogan of mohabbat ki dukan came the bjp says that there is no mohabbat ki dukan when you have uh, you know we, when you have attacks on people who are reciting the gayatri mantra or who are playing tapes of the gayatri mantra there is no mohabbat ki dukan uh, which is happening in karnataka what do you have to say to that see bjp doesn't have anything to say they are not satisfied with the country being united hmm. they always want to keep the country to be united all of us are living like one family respective of caste community religion why to discuss on that bharat jodo is to keep everyone united hmm. that is why rahul ji walked across the country if it is to keep united then you have an india alliance partner in uh, in tamil nadu and yet you are not willing to share water with them so how do you explain this no no see whatever share we are to supposed to give to them we are giving to them 177 tmc of water we have already given to them Hmm. which we are bound and there is a distress uh, time when we look at uh, we we are asking other parts of the state we requested maharashtra to give water they are from the northern region to help us but still they said no can i ask I, you i requested andhra they hmm. said no a lot of issues are there can i ask you a personal question what does faith mean to you what does hinduism mean to you see it is our personal belief and uh, practices one who believes in ourself and the confidence the trust faith means it is the confidence which we and it is india is a country with lot of uh, diversity uh, lot of religion issues values biggest strength of this country is the culture mm. so we all are in a same system so we look at everyone together 
because Karnataka is home to hundreds of temples and people are very, uh, for them faith is very important. It's a way of life for them. So when uh, Rahul Gandhi makes that comment about Shakti, how do you think it will uh, work with the people of Karnataka? Do you think that people will get upset about it? Why? Why people should? People love it. People love it. See, we, if someone gives an invitation to me, what is Shakti? Woman. Goddess. Someone gives an invitation to me. They never give me D.K. Shukumar. They give Srimati Mattu Sri D.K. Shukumar. Hmm. Mrs. and Mr. D.K. Shukumar. First woman. The soil has been called hmm. Bharat Mata. Bhumi is called. Rasuda. Uh, so, even when God, Lakshmi Venkateshwara is called, they call Lakshmi Venkateshwara. When Parameshwara is called, they call Parvati Parameshwara. When uh, uh, Ganesha festival is being conducted, though he is not married, first Gauri festival, then Ganesha, the mother and the son. Hmm. This is this land. So, the Shakti of this country is a woman. Bhumitai, we call it a motherland. Hmm. Motherland. So, he speaks on motherland. But he spoke about Shakti as a negative energy. Not a negative. You are looking at, uh, you and uh, uh, Modiji are looking at negative. We look at positive things. That's not what he said, sir. And it is his uh, looking out. He's in a positive trend. Because then you had Mr. Kharge to explain that this is what Rahul Gandhi meant. I don't want to comment much on that. I leave it to the national leadership on this. Okay. So, uh, let me get back to uh, some of the other controversies which were there. You know, when you fought the election, you uh, there were these Karnataka Contractors Association who said 40% Sarkara. And then you put out these posters and all that. And the government fell because of the perception that that it is a corrupt government and uh, it was that label was stuck of 40% Sarkara. Now they are saying that the Congress is also 40% Sarkara. It is uh, not true. Whatever we had uh, uh, committed, it was a statement of the contractor association president. We are investigation going on. I can prove with lot of documents, records and something. I don't want to comment on that. Some investigation is going on with a commission. Let they come out to the report. I'll comment on that. So, um, you are one of the uh, richest politicians of India. You open any site and if you Google uh, D.K. Shivakumar, uh, so it says that one of the richest politicians of India. Also, whenever there is trouble and there is resort politics, everybody says, oh, D.K. Shivakumar is taking a flight and going and resort politics, he is going to be handling this. So, uh, allegations of corruption have followed you for years together. How do you deal with this? See, you're fighting in court, many of the cases. I am, see, I am telling you, they, uh, there was nothing against me. Because of uh, Raj Sabha election of Ahmad Patel, this income tax rate and credit. See, I am not the richest politician of this country. They are very, 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 very big politician with huge amount. The difference between them and me is that, see, in election commission, there is a point that if you want to declare your asset, it should be on the present guidance value. They have a lot of companies. I don't have any companies. All others have companies. Any politicians, they just don't play their documents. Hmm. Don't play their documents. They put it on a share value. Share value will be on a different, uh, this one. When I just declare my assets, I don't have any companies because there is a difference between a company and an individual. As an individual, I have some assets which were being taken long back when the prices were like. Bangalore mm. is a growing place. Mm. I might have asset and I have given the, mm. uh, as per the present guidance value. But all others have kept their assets in the name of their company and they are not showing as per the law. That is why it is happening. I am not even, uh, I am one of the normal citizens. So, yaar sab bili maat liki lai do. Normal citizen in ta. Everybody knows. No, let, okay, I wish, I I will, uh, I think I am happy that you all wish me better. <laughs> let me, 
look at it later okay uh, this also this thing that uh, that uh, dk shiv kumar has this magic mantra that uh, uh, if this seat is considered that this no way that congress party can win somehow you twist it and it happens it's not Adhaige. like that only hard work you see hard work will pay no magic mantra yes i agree that i have taken up various responsibility like this what you are telling uh, my track record shows that uh, uh, we have won very big uh, seats like this but it is the all time will not work but still i am confident that with the way we look at uh, local local issues we look look at the local problems when uh, when we do hard work we have to look at the people's uh, wishes the problem of the people then they should be con- have confidence on us that is why they vote us otherwise it will not happen you keep saying that it is because of ahmed patel's election that all that your troubles happened can you tell me a little bit more about that why see i had uh, ahmed patel parliament election was the la raj sabha he requested me to keep few mlas with him they said they want to poach him then all of a sudden a big number came more than 40 member i had to keep that i had a lot of pressures from gujarat mm. Mm. i had a lot of pressures but i didn't want it to backstab anyone mm. so all of a sudden this entire income tax team came mm. where i was with the mls mm. and lot of issues started 67 locations 80 hours uh, yes, 300 yes, officials yes, yes, yes. and See, 10 what crores happened no, no what happened mm. they were tracking my phone Hmm. they were tracking my phone one day amit bhai called me and said dk they have come along they need some for their clothes that this and all give them one one i said hmm. one one means one one lakh hmm. then i just brought them shoes i brought them uh, trousers t-shirts made them in pack and you they gave them spent some money 40 50000 rupees and gave so that uh, they said that they will not go out, we gave them this police people income tax people thought that we are giving one one crore to them hmm they thought that we are giving that is how the big team came them and searched hmm. every place and they found out hmm uh, so in the phone they thought that one one crore one on one is one okay one one uh, okay. they thought is one one crore uh, one one crore okay so then that is how it happened i just for, because then they what come. happened after that Th- do you think that that was a turning point uh, in uh, because you know at that time i remember all the karnataka papers said that uh, uh, the new chanakya takes on the other chanakya which is against uh, amit shah was it you uh, versus amit shah then i don't want to see why i'm i'm not uh, matched to them i am not i'm not so big i'm a small minister in a state uh, I, i they are very big people why should i I match them. Hmm. I'm. I don't want to match anyone. I'm happy with my state and my state politics. But you've also been at the center at one point of time. No, oh, whatever some responsibility has been given, I'm here. I was here. That's all. Hmm. But still, I allowed to be in my state. Become chief minister? Are you in the running? Let me see. Hmm. Time will answer. Okay, so I want to ask you about uh, you know uh, this thing of those three days after the elections were won in Karnataka. what happened at that time because there was this thing that it was almost similar to mr gelot and mr sachin pilot you know the election was won everybody used to say the earlier election was won with sachin pilot but gelot became because he was senior when in this election everybody said you did the hard work but because mr sidramaiah was senior in the number of years he became chief minister can you tell me what happened i don't want to discuss disclose anything what happened what transpired anything we need to know no uh, it is not okay. a, a debate to be discussed uh, in the media huh. time will answer and you will know about it but did you feel at that time a little let down see in politics uh, everything happens hmm. nothing is permanent for anyone nothing is certain nothing goes as you think hmm. we we'll have to digest this so was it something like on the kashta do time it and you had to swallow it no the wishes of the people is important with lot of confidence they voted us so i am one of the main uh, being a party president 
Huh. When party was nowhere, hmm. we took to this situation. Hmm. The confidence people of Karnataka imposed on me is important hmm. than what I get for myself. But who do you think had the uh, mandate of the pe people? Was it the Congress party or was it the uh, was it you? It is a collective leadership which we did. It is, I don't think it is not alone. Hmm. All of us work together. What is the uh, mandate this time? What is it that you're going to the people to say what? Elect uh, the Congress because uh, Rahul Gandhi is to be Prime Minister or elect the Congress because we want to get rid Let of the Modi government? Let me not discuss on this uh, issue now. We just... Uh, 80 days no, for the... Uh, I, I, I hope there will be a change for oh. a better. And let us... We are hoping. We are working out. Time will answer for this. What are you working on? Are you working on a campaign strategy? What is what is DK Shikumar's responsibility? No, I'm a party president of a state and a deputy CM. I just look at my state. So only the state responsibility is being given to you? Yes. You're not working on the Congress party's manifesto or game plan for the country? No, I have not. The, I don't have any such responsibility as of now. But you were in the AICC meeting? No, not today. I was on a selection process. Selection for the state? Uh, state, state. state. Okay. Um, if I was to ask you about, uh, uh, you know, the high command delivering, uh, uh, delivering states to the high command, what is the conversation that you have? What does Sonia Gandhi tell you that you have to win this state at any go or form this government? I don't want to disclose the internal discussion of the party. Hmm. This is not a platform to be discussed all those issues. Okay. I thank my central leadership for it imposing confidence on me, giving me strength, going at my words. And I'm happy that I've delivered at every point of time. Did you feel disappointed that the India Alliance did not work as it was planned? See, in politics, it all happens. Hmm. See, in BJP also, there are a lot of issues. For them also, there will be ups and downs. They worked out something in Maharashtra. They could not again... After one year, two year happened. They worked out something in Bihar. There are a lot of changes happened. Then again, they reseated it. So it all happens. And you see in every state, they are changing chief ministers because they feel that they are not safe. You're talking about the BJP? Ah, hmm. As such, it happens. Do you think that they are changing chief ministers because they feel that they are not uh, delivering? Ah, the, if everything was going well, why would they, why would they have changed the chief ministers and the so ministers? So what I have heard, uh, of course, it's uh, of matlab, There's no uh, there's no uh, official word on it, but what I have heard is that they keep changing because they want new blood to come in, not the same people. Let me not uh, uh, see. Politics is full of convenience. Hmm. Whatever they want, they speak their soul. <laughs> okay. Uh, See, you know, they tell 75 years of age. Where is it? Have they stopped at 75 years of age? They have, no? There are a lot of instance issues. I don't want to comment on their party. You're seeing a lot of this uh, happening, the Dravidian politics. You choose to be restricted only to Tamil Nadu, but now it is spread to Karnataka also. You saw Mr. Priyank Kharge talking about anti-Sanatan comments. Your no, own brother me, let, said... Let me not discuss much on this issue. I have spoken a lot of issues. I think this is sufficient for the day. No, but I have to ask you this because your brother has come in under a lot of scrutiny for saying this. Is he what? Uh, no, no, whatever, has he taken that? See, whatever he said was right, but whatever he was being quoted was wrong. He said situation may rise if such treatment is being given. He never said that the country will be divided. You are just looking at Karnataka, the southern states in a very different way. That is what he said. But you is just, it, you, other you, other you people? Just, you just try to look at this statement properly, recall the statement, and you come out and comments. Are the people uh, really feeling that divide in uh, of in course, South India? Of course, they feel that uh, we have been neglected. So neglect neglect could lead to a, no, a separation. No, not separation. We have to raise our voice. Huh. That is what uh, Mr. Bomay also said in the assembly. No. Huh. He is on record, huh. replying to the Sidramaya. 
So do you think there are fissures in the country now? There are divisions in the country? No, justice has not been given. So all of South doesn't get justice? I don't want to. This is not the right time to discuss. So because I'm asking because you've worked in the center also. It's not as if, you know, if I say that, uh, say a Priyank or, uh, or uh, an Uday Nidhi, they are young people. They have not worked in the center. You have worked in Delhi. You have worked in the state. You have worked several terms uh, as an MLA. One thing, as a congressman, we will keep the country united. We want the entire country to be taken care of well. We want a progressive stage to be helped. We want, we doesn't want any partisan angle in any part. The national government should help every state properly. Wherever they get good resources, they should help. Whatever the problem should be sorted out. One day, not look at politics. Do you think that this cooperative federalism, uh, do you think that, um, say, what Telangana is trying to do is something that Karnataka can do? No, I don't want to comment or uh, discuss much on these issues. Right. Uh, one of the questions which was uh, which came up uh, when I spoke to the team was that uh, your colleagues were at the forefront of our tax, our right movement. Uh, can you explain a little bit about this? See, we are giving, uh, when you give 100 rupees, we are getting about only 13, 14 rupees, hmm. which is very less. Mm -hmm. And we are not uh, getting proper share which has been committed by the central government. Hmm. Compared to other parts of the country, hmm. other states where BJP is ruling, hmm. we are not getting any support from the central government. Hmm. That is why we are fighting. Lot of issues are there. Lot of numbers are there. Already we have disclosed it on a memorandum on various uh, uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the Karnataka is getting a raw deal. Have you spoken to Nirmala ji on this issue? No, we have, as a state we have represented. And what was her response? She, she is from Karnataka, representing Karnataka. She should have uh, helped us, but uh, unfortunately she could not. Has uh, There was a lot of uh, gossip which happened when uh, Modi ji wished you happy birthday. There were talks that, oh, uh, DK Shiv Kumar and Modi ji have um, a good relationship. What happened there? Oh, we have to respect uh, each other. We have mm. to respect the country prime minister. He has to respect us. Uh, he wished us, definitely. He is a leader of this country, which we have to definitely uh, give him whatever the status and respect has So, do you feel that uh, modern day politics, I mean, you've been in politics for decades now, you know, more than two decades you've been in politics. You came no, as a four decades. Four decades you've been. Uh, so, do you feel that the level of politics has really fallen? Of course. And seniors like no, you? No ethical values. So moral values. What should be done? As seniors, how would you tell your youngsters who are getting into politics? Let because me, there's a lot let of me, Let me de debate on some other day on that issue. Do you feel that there is any hope? There is a big generation gap from our days till now. Now the youngsters are too smart. Mm -hmm. In smooth. a negative way? Positive way? Positive way. Okay. Too smart. And we should build leaders. One day Rajiv Gandhi said to me, a leader is one who creates leaders, not followers. That's nice. When we were, when we were at younger days, when he, when he picked up at us at mm. younger days, I still follow him, I still believe him and we have to do for it. What was your first meeting with Rajiv Gandhi like? You Let us discuss okay. some other day. Okay. Whenever, uh, you know, TV studios, when we sit to discuss which way is Karnataka going to vote, which way is going Karnataka going to vote, the whole talk is Vokaliga vote, Lingayat vote. Vokaliga vote, Lingayat vote. Why is it that caste still matters so much in Karnataka? But uh, as a congressman, I don't believe it. But still media plays that a lot of leader, other leaders also play. But I don't believe it. I believe in human relationship. I believe in social fabric. That is what my party and my ideology is also. But you broke the Vokaliga vote of uh, the JDS, no? No, no not broke. Uh, that uh, area... They felt that, yes, when opportunity should, will come to Shiv Kumar, we should stand by him. Yes, because I remember at that time, a number of uh, walks box that we did, everybody thought that, oh, you are going to, a Vokalika is going to become the chief minister of uh, Karnataka and hence a lot of people voted for you or your party. True? False? The numbers are predicting it. I think uh, in politics uh, nowadays, 
cast, subcasters also playing a very major role. I don't tell no. But everyone, we also have to accept blood is thicker than water. So finally, I have to ask you this, that uh, when you campaign, uh, when you go for your speeches, when you work on your speeches, are you using artificial intelligence? Still not it. Uh, my children, my friends tell that still I'm not up to it. I just look at for the future. For the kind of stressful job that you lead because you travel so much, you keep late hours. As a politician of uh, long standing, what do you do to relax? What do you do to, like what is a day like in the evening? Do you just chill in front of the TV? My what is it? God, I think I'm killing myself. <laughs> I'm not ju doing justice to my body and my mind. So there is no, is it meditation, yoga, what is it? No time for anything. I, I meet people till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, start again by 8, 9, 10. I think after this parliament, I will just uh, try to uh, shape myself well on this angle. Right. Thank you so much, sir, for being part of the podcast. Thank Wishing you. you all the best for the thank next election. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoy listening or watching this edition of the ANI podcast with Smita Prakash. Do like or subscribe on whichever channel you have seen this or heard this. Namaste, Jai Hind. Click here to watch the previous episodes.